Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. I hope you had a good weekend. This is um, Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It will be for Tuesday the 28th of September 2021 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates. Okay, card is out. So we have the Two of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords, the Star, we have the Hierophant, the Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups. And we have the Four of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. So it's interesting that card underneath wanted to be revealed as well. So let's have a look. We've got the Nine of Cups. So the Eight of Cups, you can see the greyness of those cups there. And then see the vibrancy of those Nine Cups. The Nine of Cups is the heart's desire, the wish fulfillment. Generally, the Eight of Cups walks towards the Nine of Cups. This is a card, this is an energy of what is going to make me happy now. What is going to bring me joy and fulfillment here? It feels to do with love, romance, relationships. We have the Hierophant and the Two of Swords. Some choice or decision to make but someone isn't clear sometimes this is an energy of not wanting to deal with a situation or it can be i just need more time to until things become clear before i make a decision or choice because generally it can be a difficult decision there's a difficult decision to make here the hierophant is can be a holder person so in order to make a decision it might well be for some of you that you might be talking to a spiritual leader or getting guidance in some way from a very spiritual or holy person. Um, the Hierophant can represent committed relationships, marriage, long-term committed relationships, marriage. So I feel for some of you that there is, it feels like some crossroads or decision to make in terms of whether you take a relationship forward or not. We have the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. So communication, a conversation will be had with regard to an offer of love. Now this could be an apology. For some of you this could be an apology energy. Someone's trying to make something right in a relationship. But I feel someone is questioning this. This could also be that there is an offer of love. Somebody wants to take a relationship to the next level and this other person is unsure for whatever reason. Uh, a significant conversation is to be had in terms of love and how this relationship evolves. Because we have two cards of wish fulfillment here, the star and the nine of cups. The Nine of Cups is a more celebratory, uh, revelatory energy. You know, the star energy is, is very spiritual. So there's definitely an energy of someone needs to be sure that this is the, this is the right path for them. The Four of Swords is a card of removing yourself from the thing that's conflicting you to have some quiet time to think, focus. And we have the star energy, which is very much to do with blessings, divine wish fulfillment, having faith, trusting that even though you don't see how something is gonna pan out, that it is the right direction for you. 
I feel someone's getting their head around a situation here and understanding how they are being guided to move forward and they're just going to trust that they're going to make the right decision. And the star is the universe saying you trust your clarity, trust your own judgment here, trust your own intuition. We have the Eight of Cups. You know, the Eight of Cups can be energy, removing your energy from a situation. Um, it can be an energy of physically walking away as well. We have the Nine of Cups, which is walking towards greater happiness and joy and fulfillment here. So I'm going to pull another card for these. So let's clarify, let's clarify this Knight of Cups. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Thank you. The Chariot. Overcoming difficulty, overcoming challenge, claiming a victory over it. I feel someone is apologizing here and someone doesn't want the other person to walk away. Because there's still love, you know, cups energy is love energy. Let's clarify the star. Let's clarify the star, please. So we have the Eight of Swords. There's a barrier here. There is a lot of overthinking. I mean, the Swords energy can be the mind, our perspective, our thought patterns, our communication. Someone doesn't, I, I definitely feel the energy of someone isn't sure that they see hope in a situation. And it feels to do with love, romance, relationships. I feel the other person is trying to overcome the challenge and make things right here. It, it feels like uh, a relationship and it's an existing relationship or marriage. I don't feel this person has made up their mind to walk away though. They have, they're, they're thinking what is going to make me happy now? Is this enough? Let's clarify the Eight of Cups. No, they're not walking away yet. So we have the Hanged Man and the Death card. So they're still waiting. They're waiting to see how something's going to play out. They're not ending something yet. I feel the star is here to say there's still hope. Uh, this is a, a blessed energy. There's still hope in this situation. If you are the person that doesn't want someone to walk away and is offering love or an apology or wanting to make something right, overcome the challenge. The star is there to say there's still hope. If you are the other person who is thinking about ending something but is not quite, you're not quite clear, but you haven't walked away yet. The star is saying, no, you haven't walked away yet. You're waiting to, to let something play out because there's still hope. You're still feeling uh, an ounce of you maybe is still feeling that there is something here to salvage. I, I feel in this situation, someone, it just feels like one person is fully invested in this. The other person is considering ending something, but they're not sure yet. They haven't made up their mind. So it's almost like there is a window of opportunity to have some kind of discussion because the chariot is signaling that some kind of discussion can bring a successful outcome or at least stop somebody from walking away for now and potentially turn this situation around i mean that's what i have obviously these readings can come out and they're very specific um a lot of the time at the moment so it won't be for everybody Final message, please. We have shine from within. Looks are only skin deep. True beauty shines from within. And it's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty. And we have solitude. 
Think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. Yeah, I mean, the message here is take time to think about something, get a little bit of space from the situation or the, the thing that's conflicting you both at the moment. And I feel in that space, you will find the answers. You will see the way forward. And I feel that is linked to the hope energy. Have hope, faith, renewal. It's a beautiful card. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you.